Guess what, bitch? I'm back. Today I'm gonna be playing a game called Firewatch. This game is old as shit. And I'm late as F on this. But I've wanted to play it for a really long time. I've heard only good things about this game. It's supposedly a single player mystery that's set in the Wyoming wilderness, I believe. Um, and uh, I heard it looks great. I heard the gameplay is great. The story's great. So I'm in the mood for something great. So I'm gonna play it. Seventy five. You see Julia. She's about your age, late twenties, laughing with well dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You Henry are out drinking with your pals. You are drunk. So what's your, you know, major? You, you're pretty. I'm gonna choose this just because my girlfriend's name is Julia and I call her pretty all the time. You're pretty, she says coolly. You are not, you're a future hangover. What, you reply, confused. Someone should buy you a cheeseburger, she says. She flags down a waiter and one week later you are her boyfriend. Wow, it's the power of a cheeseburger, folks. Okay, the census is a little high. Let's turn it down to 20. All right. Hmm. This doesn't look like a fire watch, but that's okay. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia's in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. I'm not really into be like small dogs, so I'm just gonna go with the German Shepherd. Mayhem's an excellent dog. He loves wrestling with you in the park and goes with Julia on her runs. Even though he's too big to bring to school, Julia loves him all the same. Mayhem is a friend, child, and pet all rolled into one. What was the... You talk out on the deck at summer, 9.30 p.m., and the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. What was the point of me getting out of the elevator? When, like, when does that happen uh, in regards to all this? Kids, they're not very smart or good at much. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> honestly. I'm saying if you and I have some, a couple little idiots. One day, why rush? That would be pretty good. Why rush? Why rush? She looks way out towards the mountains. We have plenty of time, right? Speak for yourself, mister. Don't worry, you assure her. You tell her that she has the body of an undergrad. My ovaries didn't get the memo, she says, laughing it off. One day, okay? Okay, one day, she says. Six months later, you get engaged lying in bed on a Sunday morning. Oh, okay, now I'm just, uh, and I'm just at the fire watch, I guess. Do not forget to check in. Alright, whatever. Already off the bat though, this uh, this looks crazy. Looks really nice. It's Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. Get mad. Four hours late? 
You call her an inconsiderate asshole. She tells you to fuck yourself and not be such a baby. You call her selfish. She knows you mean it and it hurts her feelings. Julius likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like He-Man. You frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. But flex. You look awesome. Wow. Okay. A little, uh... A little self-obsessed we are. Can I run? No, I can't run. Not really sure what's going on in terms of the time. All of a sudden I was... Uh, getting in my truck, now I'm here. Whatever, I guess. Eight miles away from the fire watch. 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking mayhem at night. There's a festival in town and brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife? Dude, this is going all all kinds of May me moo fuck did a dog. Julia, she gets flustered and has trouble speaking. When she is stressed, you confront the attacker. You beat his goddamn face in. Your iron gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Julia has to take a different path from that day forward. You say, okay, you don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. 1984. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale's in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Convince her not to take the job. Agree if she commutes back and forth. Neither one of these options sound very good, but whatever. You ask if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says it'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up if that's what she wants. She agrees. Flies back to Boulder three times each semester. Julia sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. Oh, shit. She was found crying in the stairwell. You make macaroni and drink wine to forget about it. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. Yeah, definitely uh, don't uh, ignore that. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that she might be suffering from early onset dementia. She is 41. Keep it a secret. That's the only option I have. Oh, dude. Mayhem is getting older. He's got silver hair down his back and slows down at night. You and Julia walk into the bar and see your friends, and it feels like nothing has changed. She goes back to university. Her affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She's devastated and sent home permanent medical leave some days you get the julio calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots other days you get a stranger she pulls you into bed to make love after five minutes she goes into a panic believing her dad is at the door you tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in australia to visit for a while your friends come by with little things to brighten the day she gets worse You spend your days following her around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that she could live somewhere else with 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple of months. You decide to move her into a full-time care facility or to turn and take care of her by yourself. Do it yourself, man. Don't be that guy. Am I still walking to the dam? I guess I am. Uh, a, de a deer? What is it called? A buck? I don't, I don't know. I forgot. I don't know my animals. It is impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her, like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her, and she can't do anything without you. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer. 
College of Basketball in the wing winter in the winter, drinking then too. You start going out after you put her to bed. The first time you do it, you worry about getting up about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. You put a chair in front of the bedroom door. You trust that she sleeps like her. I feel like putting a chair in front of the door is the smarter option here. You go to the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off. You're home in bed by 1 a.m. a couple nights a week. You look forward to those nights. One night, you were stopped at a DUI checkpoint. You blow a point one and are taken to jail. You consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister-in-law, Susan. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. Then they tell you she's coming to live with them. You don't argue. You say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. Oh, you take it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna take it. We go to the motherfucking woods, baby. Let's go. I made it. There's a red light inside. It does not seem good. What was that? Oh, it's a hop over. Okay. Don't really need to do that. I can hop over this. Yeah, maybe that was just that lower level. Just gonna look at my view first. God damn. Oh, look, there's another lookout over there. Wait, thoroughfare lookout? Isn't that the one that I'm at? Or maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Alright, let's go inside. MTV Cribs, this bitch. Turn on the power. Oh. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Whoa. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? Got him. What's wrong with you? Damn, that's relax, a great idea. Dude. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. You've killed three ex-husband. You're rebelling against your mom. Nobody back home can stand you. Let's go for a safe option okay, here. Um, you're probably just rebelling against a mom who wishes you had given her grandkids, by the sound of your voice, at least 15 years ago. You come out here and it really grinds her gears and you love it. Can I sleep now? <coughs> well, she also says I fuck immature men, but in my defense, who wouldn't want a 28-year-old with ambition and energy and some fire in his belly in bed? Me. I'm going now. <laughs> Just a second. Now it's my turn. Okay. Good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you, but nine times out of ten, folks out here simply got dumped. Huh. Is that it? Yikes. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Welcome to the job. Damn. Imagine she just guessed it like the first time. She was like, your fucking wife has dementia? Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Whew. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it, that hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it, do you see it? Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. 
Osborne. You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing, um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. <laughs> Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Oh, yeah. Are those fucking fireworks? Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. What? Go what? down there and set them straight. Like, kick the shit out of them sort of straight? No, 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 no. Jesus. Uh -huh. no. What? I'm not a cop. Dude, it's not like come on. Rule book over here. Yeah, some beat some, beat some ass. Sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is one, two, three, four. It's actually that for all of them. Oh, find rope in NFS cash box 306. Convenient. That's one word for it. Oh, what the hell? All right, that's a little weird. So there's a rope on the way. Uh, N is my. Okay, N is my compass. M is my map. Don't really know if that does me any good, but whatever. Okay, I think I just need to follow this trail. Hopefully the cache is easy to spot. I might fucking miss it knowing me. Oh, and I can zoom. This guy's got built-in binoculars in his fucking eyes. Oh. That was a little creepy. I can hear the fireworks, so I'm most likely going in the right direction. Oh, there we go. 306. Fucking rock. So are there a lot of these out in the woods? Yeah, we got them all over the Shoshone. They saved us a lot of back and forth from the trailhead. Don't take all the good stuff. Yeah, all right. Oh, there we go. One, two, three, four. Ron, hey man, guy couldn't take it, so I locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars you liked hiking into the park, but let's get fucked when I'm back. Alright. Nice. Updated my map. I, uh, okay, I got the rope. I'm gonna take this granola bar. Just cause, you know. Alright, let me get my compass back out, make sure I'm going in the right direction. This is like a fork. I hope I'm going the right way. Oh, R to toggle jogging. I can toggle it. That's weird. This is just like infinite? Because if so, I'm going to be running the entire game. Ah, okay. I, so I don't have like a backpack. I thought I had to like pull it out, but thankfully I don't. No, no, no! What the hell? Boy, just say shit. Report climbing accident? Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. Another... Okay, so the rope is gone. 
West, west, west. I feel like this is it. This is like an opening. Wow, there's a, a big rock outcropping down here near the lake. It's really something. Yeah, makes for good camping. There used to be a group of guys who would boulder out there a couple times a year. What happened to them? Don't know. Just stopped coming out. Oh, is that a cache? Wait a minute. Oh shit, ferret or Irish. Hell yeah. Put this out, cause I'm a fire watch. <laughs> they left their packs tied up here. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Well, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. And they're skinny dipping and shooting fireworks. So it's a very safe... Uh, okay. I keep I pressing are... tab when I need to use the radio. I don't know why. I don't want to say that word again. Why? Because you're 12? Got him. Look at these fuckers. Go stereo! Whoa, hey, put that down! Seriously, it was expensive! Fucking cool it with the fireworks! Please just put it down. We won't light anymore. If I put it down in the water, huh? Fuckers. Fight another firework and it won't be your stereo Iraq. Oh damn. Oh fuck my god. You, psycho. Yeah, fuck you. You'll fucking pay for this. You can't just harass girls in the woods. Let's get out of here. Alright. Um That was no, no, it did not. Dude, why do I keep pressing tab? Holy shit. You there, Henry? Hey. Oh, there you are. I might have got a little hot. What's a little hot? Some of their personal property took a swim. Ugh. Well, I can't do anything about it now. Nope. Thanks for dealing with him, though. Seriously. At least this guy's no honest. Problem. He's like, yeah. I threw their fucking stereo in the lake, and I don't give a shit. I would do it again. And again, and again. Maybe I can toggle my jogging. What? I'm gonna do all this, fuck it. Just to see what happens. Alright, cool, cool, cool. I'm a good guy. I'm a good guy. Hey, I'm back near that big rock outcropping, but not sure how to get back. I'd head west, back towards the lake, and then turn north towards the canyon. Head west, back towards the lake? Uh, okay, so from these rocks, where do I go again? Go back towards the lake, turn north, and east through the canyon. There should be a trail at the far east side of it. All right. Would've been nice if uh, I had this information before I came all the way fucking back over here, but whatever. Go back towards the lake, at east, and then there's a trail? Is that what she said? Oh wait, I think it's this is what she's talking about. Uh, hey, there's a trail to Two Forks Tower down here near the lake. Yeah, that's your tower. So I should go this way. Well, you're not climbing back up that slide. Oh yeah, I was like, why can't I go back the way that I came? It was because this guy fucking ate shit. Alright, my bad. Um, my bad. I'm gonna have to cut so much footage. Or I might not even cut it, I might just keep it. But it's literally, every time I had to pull the radio out, I opened my damn inventory. It was so dumb. Ruining the immersion. I kind of 
not the biggest fan of when games like have a so animation. I have a bit of a confession to make. Okay. What is it? Um, look, I was I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. And you thought it was a good idea to get into your um, love life, I guess you'd call it? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. Oh no, Stormin. Storms are brewing. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home, and try not to get hit by lightning. You try not to get hit by lightning. Oh, I didn't reply, whoops. Oh, flashlight. That's oh, dead. Ah! Oh, I guess it is not dead. Uh, okay. Oh, isn't this a cave? What's in this cave down here? There's no way this is the right way. In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... Key available so at a ranger I station. So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it! <laughs> Uh, that's pretty funny. Oh, what the hell? There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? Oh. Like he's looking at you? What Is he doing anything else? I I don't think so. What? Hey, there's there's something I something someone should have told you about this area. How do I Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's 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 madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Mm, right. The camera the, Look, the automatic the camera is a little weird. Part of the fun. But I think I'll get used to it. It's just a little it's taking some getting used to. But it's like it's like moving automatically when something happens, and then it kinda also moves to how I'm moving it, which is like a little weird. Nice, good jump. That creepy guy is gone. Creepy ass dude. Climb these again. Yeah, see, it's like it kind of jumps, which I don't really like, but whatever. Another little bit of rocks to climb. Just realized my character still has his wedding ring on. God damn, bro. I'm about to get in the best shape of my fucking life out here. Oh, I did not think I was gonna have to climb that. So already I've ran into two teenagers that were pissed and said I had a little dick. And then on the way back, ran into a creepy dude who uh, also decided to sh This guy's a fucking dunce, dude. This guy's actually an idiot. But yeah, I ran into those two teens and then I ran into... Um, so it's uh, just the outhouse then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one at least. And, uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. 
respect. I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forrest Burns. Henry, as an employee of the Forest Service, that is treason. Yeah, well, he really freaked me out as a kid. He inspired me to spend the bulk of my 30s keeping the wilderness safe. A shrink would have a field day with you. Uh, thanks, Mom. Yeah, that is ass. What kind of name is Forrest Burns anyway? Well, that would be a pun, Hank. A glorious pun. I went to junior high with a guy named Royal Butts. Royal? Butts. Or vandalism. <laughs> I didn't think anyone had been named Royal since the 1850s. Oh, shit. Someone broke in. Hey, what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I did not even realize what happened. this happened until I saw the fucking prompt in the game. Is it a desk drawer? Why can't I open it? Hmm. What can they do about it? Will they catch whoever did it? This is the Forest Service, Henry. They're not exactly Hawaii Five O. Do you have any idea who would have done this? Could be those girls, but also the guy was not like the guy. The guy was looking for me, kind of. The girls seemed like they didn't really know what was going on, so I'm gonna say the guy. Maybe that guy I saw in the canyon, but I don't know why the fuck he'd want to mess with my stuff. Well, I'll have the Rangers keep an eye out for a man hiking on his own and question him if they find him. I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some deranged hiker going after lookouts? Great. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. How am I supposed to do that when my shit just got robbed? Just point me to the Forest Service weapons cache and I'll feel safer than the Pope in his little car. Yeah, uh, someone made the choice years ago that leaving people with infinite amounts of alone time and a gun was kind of a bad idea. It's a bad right. idea. I'll see what I can do. Day two, baby. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. <sighs> Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. I don't really know why that would be the case. Can I go fix it? Well, you probably can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. Oh my god. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. My name is Hank? I thought my name was Henry. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. Mm, no, it doesn't. Okay, alright. It's literally not my name. All right, so I gotta go back to that fucking cave. Then I will... What am I looking for again? I already forgot. Do I have like an objective screen? No. Okay, hold on. So I need to go back to the... I need to go back to the cave. Can I go this way? What if I went back the way that I came? Yeah, there's the outhouse. I wonder if I can go... Probably can't even, like, go back down that way. Oh, I can. Nice. 
That actually makes this a lot easier. I did not want to have to go back to that dumbass lake. Oh. Wait, I wanted to report this. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? I just spend a lot of time with Julia. Oh, so you have someone there. Well... But you're taking a little break, or... We're... <sighs> Look, I'm sorry, can you hold that thought? Uh, sure, just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Hey, -o. I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? All right, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. What the? Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, uh, Julia, girlfriend, ex? Sorry, I, I don't mean to pry. Who was that? Who was who? I, I don't think he has any idea. What, what was that? Were you talking about me? Uh, what? You left your button pressed or something. Henry, that call was work. I was just talking to... Actually, it's not really your business. Why are you freaking out? I'm not freaking out. Good. I'm gonna go quiet for a little bit. Call me if it's important. No. Okay, well. Maybe I shouldn't have pried, but whatever. Now I don't know where to at. I don't know where to go. Cause she technically was the one that tells me. I should have just done the command. Whatever. You win some, you lose some. Honestly, she wouldn't shut up about my personal life, so she honestly kind of deserves that. Where am I going again? She said to go past the gate and then keep going north. Survey communication lines north of the canyon. What does that mean? Am I supposed to like go north of where I am right now? I feel like there were other like air, uh, Areas that I could go to, right? Yeah, this goes up. Which I think this becomes north. Yeah, this is starting to become north. I take it you fell prey to the Forest Service's big recruiting effort? When it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here? Wait, what, what the hell? She's talking to me now? I saw the job in the paper and figured, you know, what the heck? What the heck? I've got no ties and no life. Better go spend what's left of it in utter loneliness. Damn, I don't have any uh, rope. Something like that? Yeah, thanks to last summer, the bump in Forest Service budget actually allowed for us to advertise for the job. Glad it worked. What happened last summer that accounted for this, um, windfall? Jeez. I mean, the federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground? Ring a bell? Oh, nice of cash. Yellowstone is, like, what, 15 miles away? Why would they do that? Well, the short story is that for 60 years, we got very good at not letting forest fires happen. And then about 15 years ago, they decided that forest fires in wilderness areas like Yellowstone should be left to burn. Please be rope. So that's what they did. I can't believe you didn't Oh, I just realized this. I didn't copy there the fucking map the from that other, uh... Gone. Dan Rather telling the country that cash. President Reagan didn't care on the nightly news? I mean, what the hell's he gonna do? Smoke jump in and snuff one out for the giver? Why are none of my notes showing up here? So what should they have done? I don't even know. By the time the Yellowstone folks realized the little fires weren't gonna burn themselves out, a hundred thousand acres were gone. It's Yellowstone, you know? People don't want to touch it. But we touch it every single day. But hey! I got a 30 cents an hour raise because we can't have another fiasco if the goddamn park can burn down again. Hmm. Uh, I found a sweatshirt from the University of Eastern Colorado. There's a University of Eastern Colorado? 
I really don't think there is. Why would somebody make that up? Right, and then put it on a sweatshirt. The world's a weird place. Whoa, holy shit. Okay, never mind. I, I wasn't looking. I thought I was about to fall off a cliff. So that's not... Uh, can't go down there without a rope. This... Oh, there's the note. Okay, I thought I lost it. Ron, got some bad news back home. Hopefully they'll let me out of here for a while. Who's to say, though, the budgets being what they are? Did you get my note about what down in Wap Wap Wapiti? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. I probably overdid it. Wish you would have been there. I guess you must have got hung up. Dave, P.S. Amigos is Spanish and professionals... Profession... Professionales is Italian. Okay. Don't know what the heck that means. But whatever. I cannot go this way. Thunder Canyon, I think, is behind me. Or no, wait, the lake is behind me. So Thunder Canyon... I guess I was in the right area. How the hell do I get... Okay, yeah, now I'm going back to Thunder Canyon. Is there, like, a compass on this map? Oh, yeah, north. Hmm... Let's see if I can get the... Maybe I can get the radio to prompt again and I can ask her. But as of right now, I don't know if there's actually a way for me to go north from here. Because it's a fucking canyon and there's walls on both sides. I need rope. I feel like rope is the thing that is stopping me from getting to this area. Because I think I have to go to that Wapiti or Wapti, wet ass pussy. No, I'm just joking. Um, wherever that was that that guy was talking about. I don't know how to get there. Wait, maybe I need to. Maybe I do need to go back through the cave. I think I I think I might have uh let me, help me. So I hung a left out of the cave and I'm passing through Thunder Canyon now. I'm not seeing any wires in here. Oh no 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 no. It sounds like you turn east towards Jonesy Lake. Look from the cave, you just want to come out and go straight to the north. Got it. Where is the cave? This is the cave. Let me open this. Oh wait, it's already open. Okay, so I already came here. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. I see, I see, I see. Gap in bush. Interesting. Ah, uh, okay. It's literally, so I was, if I had a rope, technically it would have brought me here, but I thought that was a note. Um, it literally just needed to take me around. Oh, there we go. Found the telephone wire. What do I do now? I follow it? Utility pole. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Damn. So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? Hello, ordering me around. Suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out. But I'd rather it not come to that. Okay, let's see. Follow it to the top of the trail. There's some stuff over here. Oh, it's just an outhouse. 
Utility pool. I found an old notepad of, uh, I guess, songs. And someone was writing a song called Old Shoshone. Old Shoshone, where the sky is blue and the teens are nude. <laughs> so oh, so I can. Uh, yeah, it's just like that, except about ten times more depressing. Because the other notes are not ones that are getting stored in my inventory. Which seems a little dumb. I feel like they should be. Considering uh, there's like some very clear backstory going on with those two guys. Whoa, what the hell is that? Oh, it's just me walking through the shrubs. I see cash over there. Uh, I guess I can't really follow the wires exactly because the rocks, but... I also just don't want to miss anything. I'm going to go to this cache first. Maybe I'll find some rope. Oh my god, I literally can't get up that way. How am I going to get to that cache, though? I feel like this is not... Oh, that wire looks cut. Hey, so there are beer cans all over the ground up here leading up the hill. That's annoying. Yeah, thing is, there were a bunch down at that campsite yesterday. Coincidence, maybe? I don't think so. Same brand, everything. These fucking kids. Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Okay, good. Any sign of those girls? Did they mess with anything? I'll look around. Inspect the communication line up close. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is... I thought I just said that like to her. Wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. <sighs> These idiots are going to pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Oh, let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um... Wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am gonna need a raise. <sighs> Don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Oh, well, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Okay, hold on, hold on. I need to... If I'm going the right way... I'm going to do a lot of fucking traveling, which is kind of lame, but... It is what it is. Jonesy Lake, Thoroughfare at Region Supply Draw. A supply draw? What? Oh, I see a cache up there. We got Pete puts in it, and then I'll go look for these dumbass girls. Although I get the feeling it wasn't the, I get the feeling it wasn't the girls. Just because their panties are up there doesn't necessarily mean that it was them. One, two, three, four. That's empty. That's great. Okay. Oh. No, no, no. No. Oh my god, I thought I glitched the game. Alright, so the supply drop was boof. Take my ass back where I, the way I came. 
probably just gonna have to go back to the lake. I don't, uh, I hope they're not at the lake. Whoa, oh, that's a tree. I thought that was a dude. If they're at the lake, it's gonna be kind of annoying just because it's like really far from uh, my lookout. Jonesy Lake, Thoroughfare. Thoroughfare lookout. I think Thoroughfare is her, Delilah's. It's not mine. There's a backpack. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Nice. Ooh, hell yeah. Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. <laughs> what, was he a fella you had a thing with? Hmm, yeah, it was so hot and heavy. Of course, Brian Goodwin was 12 years old, so Whoa. You know, our love could never really be understood. Ugh. I'm kidding. Not about him being an actual 12-year-old. That part's true. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? Mm, no. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. Good to call. Dave, guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that shit heel Stevie. It's your man, Ron. I went up to check on the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself more than usual for LOs. Lookouts. So I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself in that hammock? I'm starting to think the Forest Service only picks the deranged and perverted. <laughs> Except for us, of course, we're the creme de la creme. Let's toast to Deb at the spot. Halfway through the summer. What, they couldn't uh, handle your unique brand of charm? What the? Can. Unsurprising. Anyway, so it goes. Have uh, fun with that camera. Try not to Two snap anything that fires. would scar a photodome employee. I don't know, I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Is that smoke? Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Yeah, there's smoke. I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? You think it's them? I reckon so. It looks I like it's reckon. To the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep Five on Mile plume. Creek. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. Five Mile Creek. He said southwest, I think. God damn it. All right. I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what? You like that? This guy is the freaking king of the flapjacks. Yeah, that's solid. I'll have to keep flapjack. that one in my pocket. It's all yours. All right. Thanks for the flapjack roast. Definitely not going to use it because it's silly as hell. You're in a roast hey, battle with someone and they call you a flapjack. You, you officially win. Um, I thought about it and yeah, I suppose that must have sounded kind of weird when you heard me take that other call. Plus, you're just out here in your own head. Trust me, I know how it is. So... Did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but <laughs> I know I'm a bit of an outlier. Wait, I don't mean that the way it sounds. I mean, I care about people, Shut and up. I like companionship as much as the next person. So I'm actually married. Annoying. But you're here. She's sick, and I shouldn't be here, but I am. I, I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. 
Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. I'm down in Thunder Canyon. I'm not seeing that smoke anymore. Oh, it's still burning away. Try heading west from where you are. If you loop past the lake, there should be a trail that'll take you further south. Thanks, that helps. If I loop past the lake... Why is there music playing? What's happening? If I loop past the lake... Two forks... If I loop past the lake... Wait, I'm going the wrong way, I think. Am I able to go this way? I don't even think I can go this way. Yeah, what the hell? She's got Alzheimer's, like, um, dementia. Whoa. How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Well, we didn't really understand what was happening. You don't get... Alzheimer's in your late 30s. I meant to choose the third option. That was an accident. Even then, we didn't really get it until she couldn't work anymore and I couldn't leave her alone. It wasn't until then that I said, oh, this is it. This is over. That was hard. That's all sad. I'm sorry to be such a downer. Don't, don't, don't even. I'm happy to listen. <laughs> and, you know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise. Whoops. Okay, I th I don't know if this is the way I'm supposed to go, but it looks like there's a little repel thing on the way back here, and I think that'll take me towards this uh, five-mile lake, five-mile creek, whatever the hell it's called. I'm coming up on it right now. Or maybe not. Oh, yeah, it's right here, it's right here, it's right here. This is like the forest, but not the forest. I think I should be getting closer. Don't see the smoke though. I wonder if there's a cache over here. Probably not. No. Oh, just kidding. It was in the middle of everything. One, two, three, four. Mitch Michaels, age 3162, short brown hair, distinctive facial features. Was last seen around Gen Z Lake. He was first reported missing July 29th. By Forest Service personnel, he's not known to be familiar. Ford F-250, blue and white. Is there anything in here? Pine cones. All right, where am I? I'm almost. I'm getting closer. Well, 
Well, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those wow. trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? Beautiful. I hear something. I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. So, how'd you meet? I met in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. I stumbled over and told her she was pretty, and that was it. Aw, you were brave. I was drunk. What's that? Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. I think I just have to keep following this trail. Oh. Got it. Team zone. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. I have entered the teen zone. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Ah, found my sheets. So they did break into your tower. Damn. Looks like. Whoa. Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, that's not good. That isn't good. Well, maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. Dear Psycho, I hope you're fucking happy we're leaving and gonna find the police or whatever and tell them how you creeped us on creeped on us in the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite. Stealing panties is gross out. You're probably a mental fucking axe murderer and so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks dick. At this stage, take whatever you want. Their tent looks like it's been through Oh, they're gone for sure. How can you tell? Well, the girls left someone me, I guess, a note. Well what's it say? to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, uh, did you? No. Look, I didn't do anything to them, but it looks like someone had it out for them. Then why do they think it's you? Fuck, I don't know. Huh. Hey, I don't. I believe you. Come on, Henry. All right. All right, it's just, it's weird what happened out here. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Okay, thank God I didn't have to walk all the way back to my freaking... Firewatch. So I'm gonna stop this here. I think two days in is honestly a good little good little uh, hey, stopping Henry. point now. Shut up, shut up, lady. I'm gonna stop it just because uh, I um, don't want anything else to happen. Any more lore to be unveiled before uh, before uh, before uh, before. Uh, 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 before that, it's a pretty good episode full of panties and lakes and rope and all kinds of shit. You never know what you're going to find, what you're going to run into being a fire lookout. But as always, thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll see you guys in the next one.